welcome to the latest installment of Jeff Go Prepped with Ploys. Let's begin down at Pepsi Center for another successful state wrestling tournament. Pomona claimed its third Class 518 title in four years, racking up 166.5 team points. Senior Justin Pacheco led the way for the Panthers in winning his second career individual title. Pacheco took a 1-0 victory in his title bout at 132 pounds. Was that just your focus, just do whatever it took tonight? Yeah, especially battling some injuries coming here. It was tough. I was contemplating not even wrestling regionals or state Yeah. because um, I need surgery, but that's, I don't want to use that as an excuse. Try to push through it and I'll take a 1-0 lead. Freshman Daniel Cardenas captured the 5A 120 pound title to begin a promising high school career. Sophomore Franklin Cruz grabbed a third individual crown for the Panthers by winning the 182 pound championship. Pomona had nine wrestlers place at the state tournament. Panthers coach Sam Federico was named the 5A Wrestling Coach of the Year. Jefferson Wrestling coach Oscar Fonseca led the Saints to a third place finish in the Class 3A team standings. Junior Nick Gallegos and freshman Angelo Lozado brought home individual state titles to Jefferson. A year after a serious car accident prevented Gallegos from being at the top of his game at state, the junior dominated the 3A 152 pound bracket. Nick had a tight championship bout where he edged Rush senior Oswaldo Nunez 8-7. Lozado made history becoming the first freshman at Jefferson to win a state wrestling title. Angelo captured the 3A 113 pound title. We move on from the winter sports season and right into spring. The bomb cyclone blizzard hit the Denver metro area during the second week of March. However, Jeffco's stadium managers quickly got fields back into playing shape. At Lakewood Memorial Field, area rivals Green Mountain and Lakewood took to the girls' soccer pitch. Green Mountain senior Olivia Petro scored her team-leading fifth goal of the season to give the Rams a 1-0 lead in the first half. Petro is playing in her first high school season for Green Mountain after going through three different ACL knee surgeries over the past three years. The Rams wrapped up a 2-0 shutout victory over the Tigers. Green Mountain sophomore Mackenzie Dow scored in the second half for the final goal of the game. The win improved the Rams' record to 4-0 on the season. Over at Trailblazer Stadium in Lakewood, Wheat Ridge squared off against Castleview in a boys lacrosse action. Here, junior Zach Miller puts in his third goal of the game for the Farmers. Senior Cole Kessel scores a big fourth quarter goal for Wheat Ridge in a game that would eventually go into overtime. In the end, Castleview attacker James Schneike scored the game-winning goal for the Sabercats in a 12-11 victory for Castleview. In girls lacrosse action, Conifer piled up the goals against Summit in a 16-1 victory on a sunny Saturday afternoon at Trailblazer. Conifer seniors Lena Henney and Reese Miller put in second half goals for the Lobos. The victory improved Conifer's record to 3-0 on the season. We close out this month with some action from the second annual Jeffco High School Senior Basketball Game. The top senior hoopsters from across Jeffco took part in the All-Star Game played at the Gold Crown Fieldhouse in Lakewood. Evergreen senior Claudia Dillon was named the MVP of the girls game, leading the white squad to a 68-62 victory. Columbine senior Cameron Dean took the MVP honor in the boys game, helping the blue team to a 113-102 win. For more Jeffco coverage, check out chassanow.com forward slash Jeffco and follow us on Twitter at Jeffco Athletics.